Marvelous Descriptions, Painting Pictures with Your Words. Hello, Language Explorers. Today, we are diving into a topic that will help you enrich your conversations and narratives, describing environment and surroundings. This is a crucial aspect of conversational English, as it allows you to paint a vivid picture for your listeners or readers. Ready to embark on this journey? Let's get started. In the English language, adjectives play a pivotal role. They give color and life to our sentences, making them more engaging and meaningful. Environment and surroundings adjectives are words used to describe places, settings, and atmospheres. They help your listeners or readers visualize where the action in your story or conversation is taking place. For example, you could describe a forest as lush or a city as bustling. These adjectives instantly set a mental scene for your audience, making your descriptions more effective and immersive. Here are some commonly used environment and surroundings adjectives that you can start using in your conversations. 1. Bustling. This word is typically used to describe a place that is full of activity or people. For example, the city center was bustling with shoppers. 2. Deserted. This adjective is used to describe a place that is empty or uninhabited. For example, the street was deserted at night. 3. Gloomy. Used to describe a place that is dark, or has a sad, depressing atmosphere. For example, the old house looked gloomy. 4. Serene. This word describes a place that is peaceful and calm. For example, the countryside was serene and tranquil. 5. Dilapidated. Used to describe something, usually a building, that is old, worn out, and in poor condition. For example, the dilapidated barn stood alone in the field. 6. Lush. Used to describe a place that is very green with healthy plants. For example, the rainforest was lush and vibrant. Now, let's put these words into practice. Here are some example sentences. 1. The bustling market was alive with the sounds of vendors and shoppers. 2. Despite the time, the park was deserted, not a soul in sight. 3. The gloomy weather made the old manor seem even more mysterious. 4. The serene lake provided a peaceful retreat from the city's noise. 5. The dilapidated building added an eerie charm to the otherwise modern cityscape. 6. The lush garden was a riot of colors, filled with blooming flowers and buzzing insects. Learning to effectively use environment and surroundings adjectives will not only enhance your English speaking and writing skills, but also make your conversations more engaging and vivid. Practice using these words in your everyday conversations, and soon, you'll be painting beautiful word pictures effortlessly. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay curious, keep exploring, and as always, happy learning.